This is ABC 7 News at 5.30. Your Suncoast News. We're here for you. Welcome back. A group of doctors in Sarasota County taking on the opioid crisis one patient at a time. Doctors are partnering with the Sarasota Medical Alliance to be proactive about this ongoing problem with the pain medication. ABC 7's Christopher Brantley has more on what exactly this group is doing. In 2004, William D. Sousa Jr. was working on a nuclear submarine as he had his whole career when his whole life changed. Almost died, had last rites, and something inside just didn't want to quit. Sousa fell 10 feet off a piece of equipment. Shattered everything. Every tooth of my head is all implants. Have no taste and smell, lost hearing crush my clavicle. To lessen the pain, Sousa was prescribed the opioid Oxycontin. He says at the time he had no idea what the negative side effects could be. For him, he says it made him unable to move and miserable. Opioids are a mainstay of pain management and as a surgeon, you know, we create pain when we do surgery. So we commonly prescribe pain medicine. Dr. Michael Lilly, who is not Sousa's doctor, said there is often a disconnect between the doctor and patient. He finds many of his patients don't realize the opioids are to be taken only as needed and not on a regular basis. They want to educate patients on how to properly take opioids and the disposal of the medication, working alongside the Sarasota Medical Alliance and Drug Free Sarasota. They can be assured that their patients know about it because the literature is on the sheets that they hand out in their office. 25 doctor's offices around the Suncoast now have these wooden holders with more information on opioid usage inside. They're given to any doctor that wants to take part in the program, and they're handmade by Sousa himself. Think that you have to depend on that drug? You don't. There's, there's, there's a life out there. Sousa is still in near constant pain. He tells us he's in pain management right now, working on alleviating that pain with more natural methods. Live in Venice, Christopher Brantley, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. Thank you, Christopher. For the first time in state history, Florida is set to execute a white man for killing a black person. That was strange. The state plans to do so with the help of a drug that has never been used before in any execution in the U.S. If his final appeals are denied, 53-year-old Mark Asay will die by lethal injection tomorrow night. Asay was convicted by a jury of two racially motivated, premeditated murders in Jacksonville in 1987. The execution will be Florida's first since the U.S. Supreme Court put a stop to the practice in the state more than 18 months ago. It's expected to be carried out using an anesthetic that's been approved by the Florida Supreme Court, along with two other drugs. Death penalty opponents are worried that an uneventful lethal injection could prompt Governor Scott to issue a flurry of new death warrants. Having gone this long without executions reminds us that executions are not necessary to keep society safe, um, and it is unfortunate that they are resuming again. Thursday's execution would make a say the 24th death row prisoner to put to to be put to death since Governor Scott took office more than any under any other Florida governor since the death penalty was reinstated in 1976. A Suncoast congressman is fighting to protect one of the most endangered mammals on Earth. Vern Buchanan wrote to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service asking to continue protecting our official state animal, the Florida panther. Endangered species are reviewed every five years, and the agency is considering whether or not to keep protecting the panther under the Federal Endangered Species Act. The agency will consider a study that claims the panther is similar to pumas or mountain lions in western states. With only an estimated 250 panthers alive today, Buchanan hopes his letter will prevent panthers from becoming extinct. And now we're going to head over to Bob. We had some major downpours earlier today, which has been a change from the drier weather we've had, Bob. Certainly has. Uh, your first alert forecast is showing the showers uh, continuing to develop, too. Look at this line right now as it makes its way toward Lakewood Ranch and places to the west. And there's another one behind it. This is going to be a pattern played out over the upcoming 48 hours as a result of a tropical system uh, located to our south. It doesn't appear that this system is going to develop into anything significant in terms of wind, but it will in terms of heavy rainfall. 
Uh, it's already starting to occur. It's in Bradenton, Palmetto, Ellington, stretching off toward Anna Maria Island. But this is the line that is now moving through Inglewood and also Placida, as well as into Northport right now that's bringing the heavy rainfall. Uh, Venice, you're in the clear as far as rain goes, but not to worry. It'll be there fairly sh uh, soon as it's making its way to the west at 10 miles an hour. Here's some cities it's expected to anticipate to move into Lakewood Ranch at around 630. Also up near Lorraine around 612. So this is the line that is going to produce some locally heavy rainfall. We already had the rain, as I mentioned, uh, right there near Anna Maria Island, also in northwest Bradenton, another downpour heading in your direction. So the ground isn't that saturated at this point because of the relatively dry air we've seen, but it's going to moisten up very quickly as a result of uh, this tropical system. A Northport, some moderate to heavy rainfall right now, and near Port Charlotte and Punta Gorda, you got through the first round. Another one on the way. Look at the rainfall right there, over two inches an hour. Uh, it is moving to the west at 10, so it shouldn't be around for all that long. We'll have more in our forecast and let you know about Harvey, which is expected to bring over a foot of rain. Details on that coming up in a few minutes. Back to you. All right, Bob, thank you. The Navy is expanding its search and rescue operation for a group of missing sailors after the USS John McCain collided with an oil tanker on Sunday. Authorities confirm they found the remains of some of the men inside the ship and one body at sea. Now the commander of the 7th Fleet, Admiral Joseph Okoin, Okoin, has been removed from his post. The U.S. Pacific Fleet says they've lost confidence in his leadership and he's being dismissed today. There have been four accidents under his watch. Until uh, we have exhausted uh, any uh, potential of uh, recovering uh, survivors or bodies, the uh, search and rescue efforts will continue. U.S. officials say the destroyer reported a loss of steering for three minutes prior to it being struck by the Liberian tanker ship. But they say it is not certain this led to the accident because there are several other actions that could have been taken to avoid the deadly collision. President Trump spoke to the American Legion today discussing VA accountability legislation and the Veterans Assistance Act. The president also made an appeal for national unity. And as ABC's Lana Zak tells us, it was a very different tone from Trump's remarks yesterday in Phoenix. President Trump promised important changes at the Department of Veterans Affairs. I will sign another historic bill that the American Legion helped us deliver the Veterans Appeals Improvement and Modernization Act. Speaking largely from teleprompter, he praised our nation's veterans and argued for unity. You help keep history alive. Part of that history, the valor of veterans who fought against Nazis and fascism, a subject reignited recently in Charlottesville. Less than 24 hours earlier, a different Donald Trump was on display at a campaign rally in Phoenix. They're trying to take away our culture. They're trying to take away our history. And our weak leaders, they do it overnight. As the president sought to relitigate his response to Charlottesville, quoting his own remarks extensively. Here's what I said on Saturday. We're closely following the terrible events unfolding in Charlottesville, Virginia. But the president omitted his two most controversial points. Violence on many sides. On many sides. You also had people that were very fine people on both sides. And instead blamed the media for the Charlottesville fallout. If you want to discover the source of the division in our country, look no further than the fake news and the crooked media. But the president's responsibility for Charlottesville remains, according to a group of rabbis who say that they will not have a conference call with the president, saying instead that they hope that he will recognize and remedy the grave error he has made in abetting the voices of hatred. Lana Zak, ABC News, Washington. We are only a few days away from witnessing boxing history. Some are calling it the fight of the century. Two fighters at the top of their game, two different disciplines. One, a boxer who has never lost a fight, Floyd Mayweather. The other, a UFC fighter, Conor McGregor. Both are known for their showmanship, and the opportunity to earn a multi-million dollar paycheck was just too good to ignore for both. A local former professional boxer and gym owner, Adam Jaco, says from a business perspective, this fight makes sense. It's all about the money. Floyd makes 300 million, McGregor's make 100 million. McGregor wouldn't have made 100 million if he fought 100 more times in the UFC. It's not going to happen. They don't pay like that. The big fight happens this Saturday night at 9 o'clock in Las Vegas. And coming up tonight on ABC 7 News at 7, find out how this bout will translate long term for both boxing and the UFC. 
We are exactly one month away from welcoming, welcoming the ro rowing world to the Sun Coast. In 30 days, the 2017 World Rowing Championships returns to the United States for only the second time in history. Nathan Benderson Park in Sarasota County is the site of this year's event. Rowers from 71 countries will be participating over the next couple of weeks. Rowing shells and skulls will be arriving at the park from overseas in large shipping containers. Tents and 2,000 seat grandstands will also be going up and the championships will kick off with a dazzling opening ceremony on Saturday, September 23rd at 7 p.m. We're going to see that home park just transform. Totally different. Next month. Yep. And it'll, it'll look uh, pretty impressive. Filled with people. Yep. Still to come in your Suncoast News, how hard is it to not only quit smoking, but then to be honest about it? Plus, Amazon's new tool to help further elementary education. We have those stories coming up. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, Contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory, so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad, and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. So, you've decided to go to college. That's cool. So, pop quiz. Which is a better way to earn your degree? Commute to college and fill your gas tank, get stuck in traffic, drive in bad weather, try to find a parking space, walk a half mile to class, or learn online at Independence University. In the park on a bench, on the beach on a towel, or on your couch with your kid, your campus is wherever you want it to be. You don't go to college. College goes to you. That's Independence. That's Independence University. You schedule classes around your schedule and all your supplies, including a brand new laptop and tablet are included with tuition. At Independence U, you'll learn from professional instructors with real work experience. You'll get personal support in school and employment assistance when you graduate. Get your degree, but keep your life. That's Independence. That's Independence University. So if you're really smart, you'd call now. Call 1-800-319-0237. Independence U. For an independent you, call 1-800-319-0237. Attention Sarasota and surrounding cities. After 25 years in Sarasota, Bacon's Furniture and Design will be moving to create Southwest Florida's largest and most dynamic furniture store. We must liquidate everything in the store at huge savings as fast as possible. Do not miss this opportunity to purchase quality sofas, bedrooms, dining rooms, patio furniture, mattresses, and more. All at the absolute lowest prices possible. The Bacon's Furniture and Design relocation sell-off. Nobody beats Bacon's. Watch your Suncoast News at 6 on your streaming device for a chance to win a $50 visa. It's easy. Just watch weekdays at 6 for the word of the week. Then enter the word at mysuncoast.com for your shot at a $50 visa. We'll pick the winner each week. Good luck. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Anyone who's ever tried to quit smoking knows it's hard, but how hard is it to be honest about it? ABC's Janae Norman takes a look at the dishonesty surrounding the habit. Cigarettes, a nasty habit and no secret that it's one that's hard to stub out. And yet, whether due to a health scare, a New Year's resolution, or a general desire to be healthier, many American smokers each year aim to quit. But if a smoker says he's quit, should you trust him? Researchers writing in the journal Addiction followed more than 4,000 smokers for six months after a hospital stay. By this time, nearly 1,200 of them claimed to have kicked the habit, but the researchers tested them on this claim, using a spit test to see whether they had evidence of nicotine in their systems, which would indicate that they had smoked recently. 42% of the study participants who said they'd quit 
failed the test. The results, likely a result of the stigma of falling off the wagon, or perhaps the pressure of telling a doctor that efforts to stop smoking failed. But the lesson here, don't be afraid to be honest. Your doctor wants to help, and they just might have ways to tell if you're lying. With this Medical Minute, I'm Janae Norman, ABC News. Now your ABC 7 First Alert Weather Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Bob Harrigan. Well, good afternoon. Uh, heavy rain has moved back into the weather picture after a couple of dry days. In fact, it's been dry a little longer than that as a result of some drier that moved in. But tropical disturbance, number two, we've been following it for over a week now as it made its way off the coast of Africa. And at one point, it had a 70% chance of developing over the next couple of days. And now that chance has dropped to 30% over the next five days. So it's lower. That's a good sign. And a heavy rain willow we can expect over the next two days and maybe even a little longer. Harvey, on the other hand, is going to redevelop into a strong tropical storm or possibly even a hurricane. But the more important uh, point with that, it's going to just linger right around the Houston area uh, for a few days, which means they could see some life-threatening flooding going on there. We've had our rainfall at times here in downtown Sarasota. Elsewhere, some heavy rain near Northport and Port Charlotte. On top of that, near Parrish and Northwest Bradenton continues as a result of this disturbance. Now, the disturbance is actually elongated from the Bahamas all the way over to just west of Key West. So a lot can happen with that. We'll keep an eye on it. This obviously is going to gain strength as it's over some very warm water and conditions are expected to become a little bit more favorable for development. But our big story is just the uh, constant moisture that will be streaming around the system right into the Sun Coast over the upcoming days. We talked about this earlier this week, and, and it's uh, really pl uh, paying out or playing out right now across the Sun Coast. You can see that heavy rainfall now near Anna Maria. Another line of showers. I mentioned Lakewood Ranch now getting in the act already. Uh, so it's uh, kind of developing quicker than that as it makes its way off to the west. And as far as dry air goes, it's not around. It's uh, nowhere to be found right now. Well down south of Cuba and over the uh, Puerto Rico area. For us, we have a few clouds, 83 degrees, and the dew point temperature is at 80. That's a tropical air mass, and the barometer now 29.90 inches. You can see that little area of yellow. The reds are all to the north where they're not getting much rainfall, but it's cooled somewhat here, especially in Northport, down to 77 degrees. Uh, Wachula at 87. The Gulf water temperature now at 88. Cortez is cooled to 82. Uh, the forecast looks like this for us tomorrow. In fact, the computer-generated forecast indicating scattered showers in the morning. Not everyone's going to get the rainfall, so as you drop off the kids tomorrow, there may be a few showers around. We'll get some breaks. They'll be scattered in the morning, more numerous in the afternoon, so look out for that uh, with the possibility of some localized street flooding. So some rain this evening all the way up until about midnight. Uh, periodically, and then uh, those downpours will be heavy. It's not your typical afternoon and evening storms. This is uh, going to be torrential rainfall as a result of that tropical air. And then Thursday, expect, uh, again, uh, late afternoon, evening showers and storms. This is a depiction of the low pressure area right over the top of us on Friday. We'll see if this particular model pans out. Eventually, it tracks off to the northeast and could develop into a tropical storm in the Atlantic down the road. So again, uh, we'll keep an eye on that for you as it makes its way to the north. This is obviously the big story nationally as it's uh, headed toward Texas and this could be a catastrophic flooding uh, situation for those folks. Uh, this is the first time ever the National Hurricane Center has issued a storm watch. This is a, again, a surge watch for Port Mansfield all the way to High Island. And they're starting to use this product indicating that they could see some life-threatening inundation of water. Uh, for those folks along the coast in Texas. So uh, kind of interesting to note. Hopefully we don't have to deal with that this year. Southeast winds turn to the west at 10 knots, and there'll be a light chop out there for boaters outside of the rain. And then the UV index will be much lower as a result of the clouds and showers that will be around. As far as the tides go, low tide at 930, sunset right at 8, and sunrise at 706. So tonight, scattered showers, storms ending late, and uh, some very heavy rainfall at times. Tomorrow, a few morning showers are possible, but scattered to num numerous storms in the afternoon, and some of that could be heavy at times. That rain chance not going anywhere anytime soon. Friday it stays high, even Saturday at 60%. Back to you. Thank you, Bob. Time now to check on your first alert traffic for the drive home. Right now there's an accident in North Sarasota. This is on University Parkway at Lake Osprey Drive. And remember, you can find out about important road closures and crashes instantly on your phone. All you have to do is download the My Sun Coast app. You will get traffic alerts, important news updates, and weather forecasts delivered directly to your phone. 
Two huge retail companies are joining forces to take on Amazon. Walmart and Google are teaming up to let shoppers order Walmart products through Google Assistant. It's in direct competition with Amazon's voice shopper shopping with Alexa. Google Express shoppers will be able to voice purchase thousands of Walmart items just by using devices that have Google Assistant. The idea hinges on the bet that busy shoppers will let artificial intelligence organize their shopping carts for them. But as companies try and catch up to Amazon's success, the e-commerce giant is trying another business venture, the field of education. Amazon is now unveiling a tool called 10 Marks Writing that helps design elementary writing curriculum. The program includes writing exercises, lesson plans, and assignments, and a digital assistant that gives personalized feedback to students. How about that? Mm -hmm. Pretty good idea. Alexa, huh? I mean, Amazon can do just about anything. Seems that way. Entertainment news is next. When you want to get away from it all, to a place where you can do everything or nothing at all, surrounded by natural beauty and all the modern amenities you might desire, then you'll want to be here at the Wanna Be Inn on the beautiful shores of Minnesota Key, Florida. To plan your escape, log on to wannabein.com. It's Lincoln's summer sales event here at Alex Karras Lincoln. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKX Sport Utility for $349 per month or Lincoln's flagship, the 2017 Continental, for $449 per month. We have a great selection of certified pre-owned Lincolns. These vehicles have warranties up to 100,000 miles and come with complimentary roadside assistance. Alex Karras Lincoln, affordable luxury, winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award, serving Florida's Sun Coast since 1978. We're located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US-41. Join the fun at the Weddings of Sarasota 17th Annual Wedding Show at the iconic Sarasota Municipal Auditorium on US-41. Sunday, August 27th from noon to 4, enjoy food, fun, and entertainment with a runway show on stage at 3 p.m. $2,000 in Weddings of Sarasota dollars given out after the runway show. You must be present to win. Pre-register at WeddingsofSarasota.com. Brides and grooms are free if registered by midnight on August 25th. Weddings of Sarasota. Register today. Credit card debt can ruin your life. If you owe $10,000 and minimum payments are siphoning away your paycheck each month, you can get debt free in less time than you think. I've paid $800 a month for the past three years and haven't changed the balance on my credit card. Get Debt Free Now has a program to reduce your debt, stop the harassing phone calls, avoid financial ruin, and settle for less than you owe. I feel like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders. You're pre-approved for our special hardship program if you owe $10,000 or more. Upon payment of your new lower balance, your debt will finally shrink until you are debt free. My family no longer has 30 years of payments ahead of us at 20% interest. There's no fees until you see results. So call now. Make one monthly program payment and free up your cash. Resolve your debt. Call 800-628-1251. 800-628-1251. Watch your Suncoast News at 6 on your streaming device for a chance to win a $50 visa. It's easy. Just watch weekdays at 6 for the word of the week. Then enter the word at mysuncoast.com for your shot at a $50 visa. We'll pick the winner each week. Good luck. Actress Shailene Woodley says she is considering running for Congress. Woodley is best known for the Divergent movie franchise, and she recently told the New York Times she got the idea while volunteering for Bernie Sanders' campaign last year. The star of Big Little Lies was arrested last year while protesting the Dakota Access Pipeline. She's the latest in a string of celebrities who've talked about possibly throwing their hats into the political arena. Both Kid Rock and Dwayne Johnson have also expressed some interest. Now this is what you call a model Marine. Supermodel Kate Upton worked up a sweat with a group of Marines in Detroit. The fitness session was to promote the upcoming Marine Week celebration. Upton's fiance, MLB star Justin Verlander, watched her from the sidelines. Marine Week is held in a different American city each year. It is a chance for citizens to spend some time with Marine service men and women. About 700 Marines are expected to participate. She's doing well. Nice burpees there. Yeah. Variety is releasing its list of the top earning TV stars. The cast of Big Bang Theory continues to bring in the most money per episode, 900 grand apiece for the six main stars on that show. 
Veteran movie star Robert De Niro is close behind. He's said to be getting $750,000 per episode for the upcoming David O. Russell Amazon project. That will make him the highest paid drama star on television. Taylor Swift is officially back three years after releasing her record-breaking pop album, 1989. Swift's new album, Reputation, will be released on November 10th. The first single from the record will drop tomorrow night. Swift made the announcement in a series of Instagram posts. Swifties have been impatiently anticipating new solo music from the Grammy winner, who previously released a new album every two years. I saw some weird stuff on her Instagram, like a holographic snake and oh, really? I, was, I don't you know but she's really good at marketing this because we've been running stories about how she disappeared off of social media right. and now she's back so she knows what she's doing she does yeah and we'll be right back with more news